Hey, so here you see the plans to our house. On the bottom part of your screen are the kitchen, living room, and then the bedrooms on the on the outside. Um, these are the engineering plans, where the engineer specified where each uh, where each pile is going to be dug, <clears throat> and then a surveyor comes out and takes the engineer's plans, and will mark out uh, the exact location. And on the right side, you can see the actual um, spec for the um, metal pile and then on the right side here at the build site you can see them laid out already um, he specifies the the distance between the uh, round metal as it loops around the long pieces of rebar that will go down into the ground this is day one of the of the dig and uh, we actually ended up having two uh, drilling rigs uh, one of them is a um, is for dirt and that's what you see here digging. Um, this, this. Back to the digging. Um, what happened here was we actually um, had, like I said, two drilling rigs, and as we started drilling with the with the earth and with the earth rig, uh, we were not hitting any rock. So we called the um, the soil engineer, and he approved to send the other one away. It saves some money, and we can just uh, continue to dig with the earth with the earth rig. Uh, so that's what we did. He 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 asked us to dig two holes on opposite sides of the lot, uh, just to make sure that we weren't we weren't going to hit any rock. And then we just continued to dig uh, earth uh, all that day. And this is uh, day one of three days, and he'll just dig, dig, dig. And then uh, you know after he digs a bunch, the uh, the concrete truck and the concrete pump will will show up, and they'll lower. You know they'll lower the the steel cage down into the ground, and uh, we'll just pour the concrete on top of it, making sure that we're all level, that all of our uh, all of our the tops of the concrete is, is level, and uh, that's what we did. And we have two more days of that. We're at the build site. Um, it's Friday and we're going to pour the concrete over the floor and the beams on uh, Sunday. So I just wanted to show what went into this and how we got to this point and how a foundation is created and engineered. So the way it starts is with these um, 
with these piles that are driven and dr core drilled into the ground with a drilling rig and the entire house essentially sits on those um, on those beams that run 12 meters into the ground and you can kind of see where the wherever the rebar sticks out is where a beam is and what the engineer does is he creates a plan where uh, you essentially have these uh, basically lying down concrete beams so the whole entire house is almost floating and all the load all the all the weight is uh, is focused right on the where they drilled those holes so we're not lying flat on the ground we're essentially uh, standing on those on those beams and you can see one here and um, you know all throughout the house and you can see wherever the wherever the wherever you see these these lines crossing is where the concrete is going to sit and those are our beams um, and these beams run uh, directly onto the onto the onto the uh, piles that we drill into the ground and a, and a good example of it is here where uh, where they where they missed one the the the, uh, the foundation the pile uh, where they drilled was a little bit off where the where the beam ran so the engineer made them cut out uh, cut out um, a bigger area and kind of reinforce it to make sure that the beam sits on the uh, on the concrete pile so the weight is distributed the way that he wants um, and then on top of that we fill it they fill up all in between the beams in between the um, uh, in, in between the beams they fill up with dirt and then they put a layer of um, they put a layer of this uh, styrofoam to keep uh, to keep uh, if the ground does expand it'll it'll break the it'll break the um, it'll break the styrofoam and not uh, you know kind of have any pressure upwards onto the onto the foundation uh, and then on top of that we have uh, just sheets of two sheets of, uh, of steel rebar a mesh so kind of the entire house the, the rest of the slab is is a kind of a floating concrete uh, slab that's sitting on those uh, on these concrete reinforcements uh, and that's basically it and then over here we have the mamad which you can already see is has a ton of metal sticking out of reinforced and they'll pour that next they'll build the forms for that next after after uh, after they pour the floor you can see the, the rough ends for all the plumbing Plumbing's, are, plumbing's cut in and kind of sits inside of the concrete slab. Uh, we have over here our main electric panel, which we run conduit from the main panel all the way to the all the way to the main, I guess, the electric company's box. And then you can start to see already within the foundation they already start to line up where the beams where the 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 beams that will hold up the ceiling will go so they they embed these uh this steel rebar and that ties into the foundation and then they'll build upwards uh and build the beams that will uh, hopefully hold up the ceiling and that's it we're gonna pour in a couple days everything's tied up uh, ready to go concrete piles and down into the ground so it, it we what we do is we create if you can see closely here we weld all the the top two uh the top two uh steel uh rebars that run the circumference of the house we weld all of them together and what that, what that does is it creates an electric an electrical circuit in the case that you do get electric uh, a surge or something whatever uh, uh, a leak and we connect those two to all of the we weld all those to the to the steel that comes that goes uh, 12 meters down into the ground so the entire circumference is an electric circuit and that's connected to the main panel and if there is anywhere in the house in the lights or in anything like that there's a, there's a, a leak it will immediately uh, ground through all through the entire house
getting closer.